Okay, so uh, here we are at NAMM Studios. Uh, Tuesday, whatever it is, of May. And uh, just setting up for a session today. And uh, I've got the DW, so I've actually brought the 1968-69 stroke Ludwig Super Classic in white marine pearl, which is a beautiful thing. The pearl, obviously, um, underneath those lugs is white, pristine, but anyone who owns one of these kits and any vintage collectors know that they sort of go yellowy, greeny, this kind of vibe. Which is still pretty though, saying that. Still very nice. And it's 22, 13, 16. And um, I've got an 18 inch floor as well that I bought on tour with Susie. That was in a drum shop at the back. I remember it being in the, the back with loads of second hand stuff and what have you, used stuff. And I went in with um, Ted, who was the percussionist in uh, Susie's band, Ted Benham, who's now with Black Box and various people doing his own thing, lording it, as he would say. Um, and there's obviously a 14 by five uh, jazz festival. Yeah, and I uh, made a bid for the floor tom anyway, and I bought it, so it was good. And that came back in the truck with the rest of the gear, much to the Susie's crew, who weren't very happy because they'd got enough stuff for the truck anyway. anyway. Blah, blah, blah. So there should be an 18 right there, but uh, not today. And, uh, yep, yeah, we've got the Vulcans, as ever. I've got the 18-inch Antique. And uh, the mix of uh, Dark Master, which is underneath, 14, and a Legend on the, on the top. I just really like that combination. And the new 22-inch Legacy. Though I may change up the ride. Depends on the track today. We'll see. And over there, getting a bit of glare from outside because for once it's a nice day here in the UK. Uh, that's, I think, a 17 or 18 inch Dark Master. So there it is. That's what we're going to be doing. I might try and catch a bit of the tracking in a second for you. And uh, yeah, there it is. So let's see what it sounds like. Time to sound check.
So that last take was the one I think we're going to keep. Um, and I was developing the rhythm, which is a little bit kind of Ringo fied with a boom, da, boom, boom, da, boom, da, boom, da, boom, da, boom, I guess you could say. But you know, that rhythm's been used by tons of other people in other styles of music. But um, that's kind of where I was pulling from. And playing heavily on the ride was a bit like the Tomorrow Never Knows track on Revolver. Um, which, you know, was a groundbreaking track at the time. And I just really like that sort of insistent ride, like riding it as if it was a crash cymbal. You know, Keith Moon did it as well. It's just that intense. And I'm afraid this uh, phone was very close to the kit. So it's a bit trashy, isn't it, at that point? But um, I put the whole take on there. You can watch it. You, at some point, you'll get the rest of the band on the track as well. Uh, so you can hear it. But at the moment, it's obviously shh, top secret. Um, but that's what it sounded like. Uh, and as I say, I was developing it from that 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 reason, that broken rhythm, because the guitar part, ding, 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 that kind of loop that we've got on guitar. Obviously, those rhythms, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and you know, match really well with the guitar line, and that gives the bass player another chance to, you know, get involved in just playing boom, 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 boom which, you know, he could easily do on this track, because that's what my bass drum was playing. But I think, you know, he'll get inside the grooves a little bit more in the spaces and, and stitch something together. And the idea of the track is it's kind of a bit Doors-like, I guess. Um, and it's got like a drone sort of feel going through it and things change around the bass line, but the bass line stays the same. And, you know, when you've got something like that, you need to decorate it and orchestrate it with other things. So we'll be adding all kinds of instrumentation. I'm, I'll be producing this as well, so I can't wait to you know, get the box of tricks out on that. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that. So a little bit of tracking for the day. Um, I've still got the uh, clinic announcements to come and also answer the questions, but that's coming later in the week. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Any questions on this, please let me know. Keep liking, keep subscribing, keep sharing. I really appreciate it. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.